Hey guys, good morning. It is Thursday. It is an absolutely miserable day. It's pouring down rain. It is kind of, it's not cold, but it's not really pleasant to be out. Listen, this is going to be a short video in response to your questions. I've been getting emails and messages for the last uh, 24 hours asking about explosions at the FBI. Now, the other night there were reports of explosions and there was actually a video showing stuff uh, going off on the roof of the FBI building. You people are asking me, what was it going on? Well, I wasn't there. I couldn't show you. I was not even in the city at the time. But so I wasn't even in DC that night. So uh, why don't we go over to the FBI headquarters right now and take a look and see if we can see anything. I'll let you see what I see. All right, guys. So we are down at FBI headquarters. This is the J. Edgar Hoover building. It, it's still here. And there are cars going into work over there. That's their entrance point right there where the staff goes in. You can see a car going down into the drive right now. FBI police out here as normal. Lots of tourists getting wet. <laughs> Let's go see if we can get a better view. Okay, guys, so we are downtown and I was gonna show you the roof of the FBI. Now to do that, I either have to work at the FBI, be a contractor at the FBI, or have a helicopter, or Option four, go up in a big tower across the street. So you can see they've got the floodgates up and installed down here. Everybody is ready for the rains. So we are across the street from FBI headquarters. There's the flags you see on Pennsylvania Avenue. And we can see on the roof of the FBI building. And at this level, it's not much. It's just kind of a courtyard. There's no, uh, over there, there's some sort of construction or something going on. And then up at this level, this is the air conditioning HVAC level. And let's see what we see up here. Looks like pretty standard rooftop. Let's take a closer look. So there you can see the, what's that, a chiller or a cooler? There's one, two, three, four, there's a bunch of them. There's like four or five of these units. That one goes that way. And over to there. Say this, I don't see any like blast damage or explosion marks or burn marks or anything like that up here. There are some, what's that? There's just some rain, kind of dirt maybe, over on the side of the walls here. Yeah, just some dirt, it looks like drips. Anyway though, doesn't look like there was a bunch of explosions on the roof. I mean, it, I mean, saw the video, so it sure as heck looked like there was something going on. What's it? All right, that looks like some sort of garden lunch kind of place. Maybe they just go up there to eat lunch or something like that. Yoga? No, those are tables. Oh, there's a person up there having a breakfast or something. Well, I don't see any explosion damage. Do you guys? No, I don't think so. So guys, okay, I'm back home, dried off a little bit. Um, what was it? Uh, well, I wasn't there, I didn't see it, but let me tell you, I reached out to Alan Henney. Alan is one of the top crime reporters in Washington, D.C. Been doing this for many years, and I've told you, follow Alan Henney on Twitter if you want to know what's really going on in D.C. Alan managed to get the audio from the D.C. Fire Department as they responded to FBI headquarters the other night. And we can listen in to what the D.C. Fire Department reported to their commanders. No call on engine three response for an explosion heard at 935 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest. No full alarm engine three response for an explosion heard at 935 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest, Corsair of 9th Street, Aqua Channel 2 at 2154. Engine three to communications. Engine three? Yes, ma'am, at 935 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest. Spoke with a FBI officer on the scene. Apparently, they have an HVAC system malfunction that's been out for the pressurized steam since earlier today. They've, uh, contacted someone in relation to repairing this problem, but they don't exactly have a timetable as to when they're going to get that rectified as of yet. They give me a number to the Joint Operation Control Center for the FBI to reach out with them when I get back to the station. 
and they can uh, provide further direction. But there's no service provided. This be needs to provide at this time. We're going to be making ourselves available for service. So uh, DC Fire reported that it was an HVAC malfunction, high pressure steam being released or something. Some of you guys who have more experience with high pressure steam or with HVAC systems, feel free to chime into the comments. Uh, if you've seen the original video, you, it's quite loud. Alan actually told me that the DC uh, shot spot or the DC microphones that listen for gunshots, they were going off all night because of the explosions that were being heard down at the FBI headquarters. It was it was really quite loud. But anyway, if you've got some experience in this, feel free to chime in in the comments. That's all I can show you guys, because like I said, I wasn't there, but I, I'm doing my best to let you guys see what it looks like today. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to be back a little bit later tonight with some more activities in Washington, D.C., and uh, I go for some hot chocolate at a pretty cool place. Uh, you'll enjoy it. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.